So what I think about the 18,600 18, rule relating to British citizens with their foreign partners wanting to come to the UK. Uh, first thing I want to say is it's a fiasco, not just because of the 18.6, but as a whole. Um, the most interesting one sort of highlighted it recently where a woman in her 90s um, with her only living daughter living in the UK, her husband, her husband the daughter's husband, currently has Parkinson's and so she can't go and look after her mother in South Africa and this selfish 90 year old woman um, couldn't use her husband because he died in World War I fighting for the British Empire. What a selfish woman she is. Um, and the UK decides they want to deport her back to South Africa. Yeah, what a horrible, horrible woman. But I think that sums up the UK to me in many ways. Um, it's a selfish place these days and even with the sacrifices that others made um, there's a lot of bitterness as if like well she shouldn't be here, she's South African um, well somebody who gives their life for their not their country but their empire has more clout for me than somebody who gives it for their own country um, purely because A they didn't have a choice but B they made the ultimate sacrifice, which is, uh, well, I'll leave it at that because it does anger me a lot because the UK does not respect its own commonwealth and pre uh, obligations of the co former colony. It likes to exploit it, let's be honest, I mean, it does, uh, st there's still people making money out of Zimbabwe and its mining rights, let's, tell, let's put it that way, the British companies do do quite well out of its old colonies. Um, but let's talk about the 1860. £18,600 is not the minimum wage in the UK, as such, how can you actually say that somebody should be earning thousands of pounds more than you would expect a local citizen to be earning? Are you saying that the minimum wage is too low? I don't think so. Um, you don't take into account mortgages, not having one. If I had a house in Worcester, rent's about six to seven hundred pounds a month. Um, that wouldn't be taken into account if I had a house with zero mortgage and it was already paid off. You don't take into account the fact that if I owned, um, was living with my parents, and my brothers and sisters had moved out, and my parents were elderly, and they wanted me to live there, so they've got somebody to take care of them. So I don't pay any rent, I don't pay any mortgage, I don't pay any bill. You do not take that into account. What I find is the 18.6 doesn't actually mean anything, it's just an obstacle. And on top of that, the average wage is below 18,600 for the UK, it's around 14,000. So the majority of people in the UK, the average person, does not meet the criteria for the 18,600 rule. But then we throw in the EU in the mix. The whole EU thing where Labour, Conservatives all decided to set up the EU for a little gravy train, well, huge gravy train for themselves, and the open border policies has not benefited the UK with the immigration. Well, it says it doesn't, but there's many reasons it did benefit them. It lowered the cost of the construction labour, which is where all your poll workers come from. It gave us an influx of dentists, which come from Eastern European and polls. Um, but nobody wants to talk about the positive aspects. We, we focus on the, the scumbags that come in with them, which are a very small portion of the immigrants that did come in. Um, but how do you combat a large number of influxed migrants? You target the only ones you can, which are British citizens. You can't close the door of the EU because you've left it wide open, let it run amok and sit there going, well hang on a minute, we need to do something about this. Who can we target? 
Well, the only people we can target are the Brits. Because the EU door is open, there's freedom of movement. The only ones that have a different set of rules are those outside the EU and those that are British citizens. So targeting those two groups, you can pretend that you're bringing down immigration because you're not. Because the reality is, we're such an insig insignificant number of people, we don't make that much difference. But in the media, it looks good, doesn't it? Because we get, oh look, we're making new rules, we're making progress, we're, we're making changes. But let's be honest here, the figures haven't gone down, they're still going up. Because the stuff from the EU has not decreased, you can't get rid of it. But the only people you target are British and their non-EU families. Over 15,000 children are affected by the, this whole thing. And you've got to understand this. Some of it is just utter stupidity. Um, like myself, I earn in the UK over £40,000 a year. It's a minimum of about £48,000 most of the time. So you've got to understand I'm not struggling financially. I'm not struggling financially in the UK. I'm not struggling financially anywhere. I never have done. I'm also in a market that needs my skills. So the UK is short of people like me. Um, and you will find a lot of the people in a similar boat. Be it the oil and gas workers. Be it people that have no paperwork that says how much they earn on paper. Um, because the 18,600 deducts your first 16,000 in savings. Don't know why, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but the visa is normally for 2.5 years period. So if you had, say, 40,000 in the bank, they deduct 16,000 off it. Not being funny here, but 40,000 for a spouse for the next two and a half years would already be covered in 40,000, even if you didn't even work. Um, 40,000 is enough to live on for three years. So, does that side of things. Your income outside of the UK is not really looked at. Your spouse's income is not looked at. Yet this mythical number of 18,600 seems to just be, oh well, you've got to earn that in the UK. But like my circumstances, I have to sit in the UK for six months to get pay slips and bank statements in a job that I don't need to be in purely to meet the criteria of being a good citizen. Um, and I'll be honest with you, last year I did it and I hated the UK. I hated living there. I hated the, the racism. I hated the anti-immigration, the constant moaning by people about everything. Um, the life had been sucked out of the UK over the time I've been overseas. Because when you come back, you know, you, you may not notice it being in the country, but when you're outside of it and go back, there's so many expats that simply cannot go back to the, the UK. Um, they just see everything for what it really is. Um, because they've been detached for a period of time. So when you come back into it, going down the pub where everyone slags each other off and stuff, whoever's not in the room, isn't the way real, night, real people should act or normal people should act. But it's the norm. Um, the TV shows, utter garbage, followed by things like Coronation Street and EastEnders and stuff, showing miserable lives. Where's the positive role models in anything? Where's the happy stuff? Where's the stuff that is, inspires people to move forward? You look at Dragon's Den even. It's a bunch of self-loving um, individuals that talk about how great they are, yet who looks into their histories and they will not show the struggles of how they got to where they got, they, they got there. They don't mention the 200 failures until something went right. They don't mention the, the headaches they went through to achieve what they achieved. They just sit there going, well, this idea is crap. These people, 
that's not how you go on. That's not mentoring. Mentoring is actually analysing um, where people can be put on the right path. Um, good business management is not about hammering people and making them look stupid on TV. It's about, if there's a stupid idea, it's putting forward saying, look, this isn't, this way, I can't see how this could work. It doesn't mean you have to slag them off on TV and be quite abusive with it. That's the UK. It runs people down instead of building them up. And like I said, I mean, the 18.6 isn't relevant to anything. It's not... It's not selling me something. It, see, a lot of people are on minimum wage in the UK, but their wages are irrelevant. In the, the irrelevance point comes from, like, a guy street, sweeping the street. He's sweeping the street is not what he does. What he does is he beautifies the area. He make, keeps it clean. He stops trip hazards. He stops spillages. He stops people having accidents. He's stopping the drains getting blocked and flooding. He is analysing trip hazards and making sure that we have a nice clean environment to be in. Um, their wage is only a very small part of what they do and achieve. That's why I don't slag off anybody that actually works for a living. Because it's a bit like the Filipino nurses. They're getting caught with this uh, new rule relating to you've got to earn X amount over 30,000 a year within six years, otherwise you can't come back to the UK. What a load of nonsense. Um, they're quite happy to use and abuse. Quite happy to turn a blind eye to agency fees and stuff and then go, oh, it's illegal, blah, blah, blah. But we still know it goes on. Um... The exploitation of nurses is still going on. Profiteering out of the nurses is still going on. And at the same time, the NHS relies on them. And what's, what do they get in return? No right of settlement. Well, a big thank you to the UK. It does everything for itself. And as soon as people realise that it's not worth it, worth being there, the better. Um, here I am in Spain. Spain's a much better country. Job opportunities, a lot less where we are, but I know a lot of people in Barcelona and Madrid find work quite easily. Uh, same as the tourist spots, if you go up to near Benidorm and stuff, there's, there's work there, although a lot of people don't like working in bars and stuff. But there's work around. The cost of living's less. Um, wages here are a lot less, but you know what? People generally don't slag each other off on a daily basis. Here we are, it's now February, I'm sitting in the sun, I'm about to pick my son up from school. Um, it's a more relaxed atmosphere. Did I make the right decision coming to Spain rather than the UK? You bet.